Hello, I'm M.M. Hosha, an award-winning children's author of the adventure fantasy, Diami and the Gobi Crystal. Today, I'm taking you behind the scenes where I took a few days away from all of life's distractions. The world has millions of distractions these days. Fires, floods, civil unrest, wars. Social media bombards us with an endless stream of videos on all these distractions. Now, more than ever, we need to shut down all the feeds and streams and go within. Listen to that small voice. Walk barefoot in the grass. Go someplace where there's no internet connection. A few days ago, I did just that. I traveled deep into the wild and woolly West Virginia mountains. For three days and two nights, I went where the air was pure and sweet. Katydids and cicadas sang in the trees. The wind whistled as it sliced through the tall evergreens. With my phone, I had limited reception and only at my lodging in the evening. During the day, my phone was silent. It too took a vacation from all the distractions. We went to the Black Waterfalls. The sound was inviting and captivating with the 50-foot falls. All distractions were blocked. I sat on the cool wood boards of an overlook and closed my eyes. I needed to just be right there in the present moment. The trails were beautiful and trees untouched. I marveled how nature persists even in the harshest conditions. The seedlings grew on the rock and then the roots stretched out until they reached fertile soil. Even with impossible obstacles, the tree survived and grew tall. Next day, we rode a steam train to the top of Bald Knob. The second highest mountain was in West Virginia. As we ascended on the two hour trip to the summit, all worries or concerns of the world were left behind. Smoke, cinders, and the ear-piercing steam whistle were the only distractions as its train snaked back and forth up the mountain. Each view was as spectacular as the prior. The ride pulled me into a state of wonder with each overlook. Halfway to the top, the train stopped to take on water. In our life journey, we need time to rest as well. Water is life. Even the train needed a cool, long drink. At the summit, the train paused for a half hour before returning to the station. The view was spectacular and huge. We all need to get away now and then to recharge and reconnect with Gaia. I'll leave you with a short clip of the waterfall. Flow with nature. Leave the distraction. Thanks for watching.